folks, Rachel here from Beads by Virgil, bringing you this week's tutorial on doing more crochet. Hello and welcome. As always, do give me a thumbs up. Do pop me a note in the comments so I know you are pro you're present with me. And this week we're going to be doing a crochet bracelet. So I'm no I'm no crochet expert. I love crochet. But I'm sure there's lots of you that are far more experienced than me in crochet. Um, but this is actually double crochet. So I'll be showing you how to incorporate it with beads. I'll be showing you how to attach the slider clasp as well. Don't worry if you're a beginner. I'm going to show you right from the start. Because you need about six to seven metres of 0.3 millimetre wire, I've done reels of 20 metres in gold and silver and they come in bundles with a two clasp for the gold and in the silver they come with this type of clasp which has actually got three holes and it's flip over so there's a magnet in there as well like so which is really cute. I'll show you how that looks afterwards. So we've mentioned the size wire. We're working with 0.3 wire. You're going to need between six and seven meters of that. I would recommend a size three crochet hook, but whilst you're learning and practicing, you might even want to go as big as a six. Um, it's not going to look great, but it's just getting used to being able to actually see the stitches. I think that's the most difficult thing. Um, I would suggest that you have a mix of beads. Now, earlier on in the week, I did them all with four mil and I didn't like it. It was too uniform. So what I'd say is get your gemstone chips in there, get your pearls in there, get your glass beads, do a nice little mix because random works best with this. You're going to need a clasp as well. I'm going to actually do it um, on a bigger crochet hook. So thread the beads on, don't cut your wire, work from the reel. I've only popped a few beads on there because I'm just going to do a small demo. I'm going to try this with a size 8 crochet hook, only so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So you're going to actually make a loop, bring it underneath and you're going to actually pop your crochet hook under there like so and then pull and that makes your sliding knot. Now I would be inclined to leave again about four to five inches so that you've got enough to weave your um, clasp on. Try and keep a loose tension, which I have to confess, I find really difficult. So wire over hook, right to left. Bring it over the hook like so. So that's made one stitch. Make two stitches. Okay, that's two, three, four. Now I'm going to be honest, this is not going to look neat at all, but I want to do it this way to give you an idea so that you can see it in full view. So those are full single cro four single crochets. Now this one is for what they call a turn. So we're going to do a fifth one now. Before you actually start adding beads, we're going to double crochet. So we're going to skip this hole here and we're going to go into the next one. So push your needle in, wrap the hook, wrap the wire around the hook like you would and bring it up. So you've got two on there, two stitches. Wire over hook and pull through two. So we've got two stitches left, push it through, pull a thread through, so it's wire over hook, wire over hook, pull through two. So we've got the last one, ignore that little tail there, wire over hook, so it's through the hook, pull through two. 
Now it's going to look a real bag of spanners because it's a really big crochet. So I'm going to switch to the smaller needle in a moment, but I just want you to get to grips with the actual technique. So we always add an extra one on the end and we're going to turn. So you're just going to turn that this way. Now, if you stretch this out, you will have like two crochets at the top. It can be quite difficult and this was really why I wanted to do it on such a big hook. So we're going to work back. So I'm just going to show you this before we introduce the bead. Ignore that stitch on the end and we're going to go under those that double there let's see try and get in closer wire over hook pull through the hook wire over hook pull through two the next one next space so it's almost like two little train tracks at the top wire over hook top tip don't have a tight tension like me wire over hook pull through two you might have to tweak it a bit. The most difficult thing with this is actually trying to find your stitches through the loop, wire over hook, pull through two, push it in the last stitch so you're doing four doubles, so into four spaces, wire over hook and pull through two. Okay. Like I say, it's not going to look great, so I'm going to go back in a second to a different size. We're going to do one crochet single for a turn. I'm going to show you about adding beads. And again, you just need to rearrange this a little bit so that you can actually see the wires. Carry on as normal. You add a bead. You've skipped the first stitch or the one that you've just made and you go through the first gap. Tuck your bead under, wrap the hook and pull that through. So you're pulling a stitch through, wire over the hook and pull through two. Push your bead down, pull through the wire, wire over hook, pull through two, push through the last one. So always make sure it's only four stitches because it's very easy to actually make an extra stitch. Wire over hook, pull through, now make one as a turn. Now you can only add beads every other row because they won't sit properly. Don't go into the first one that you've just done there. That's your turning stitch. Push through the first gap there. Wire over hook and pull through. So this is basically going to be a plain row without any beads. Right, and last one. So what you would do is you'd manipulate that wire. Right, so we're doing our slip knot. So we're going to start with four single crochets, yarn over hook, pull through. So I'm working with a three millimeter this time. We're going to do the turning one now as well. 
we're going through the first stitch, through stitch two, through stitch three okay so we're going to do our turning crochet now and turn that round so through, yarn over hook, pull through. Now, like I say, this is not a precision project. This is very much an organic piece. So I'm just manipulating my stitches so that I can get through. And then what I would do is just manipulate the shape of that, add one crochet and then we're going to turn. So I'm going to start adding the beads in now. So you miss the first one. Okay, so through that stitch, drop the bead down. Pull the stitch through, yarn over hook, pull through two. I add a stitch, when you're doing your bead row, I add a bead with every stitch in that row. Okay, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through two. Hopefully you're getting the gist and you can see how much neater that is. And one single crochet before you turn. So we're going to turn there so you can see how that's starting to form. So we're going to do a row without beads. Going. So uh, once you've added your first row of beads, the stitches become a lot more visible. So the good thing is with the wire is you can kind of manipulate it into shape. So you'd single crochet and I'm just going to do another row for you of adding the beads and then we'll have a look at how we add the clasp. So basically what you would do is you would continue with one row of beads, one row without beads until you have the length of your bracelet but take into account the clasp. But can you see how I'm really mixing up what beads I'm using and texturally and size wise they are all different. So that's the side with beads and another single crochet. Right, so plain crochet all the way across. Like I say, you know, for some people this might not be the look for you, which I totally understand everybody has their different likes and dislikes. I really love the rustic look and I love the freshwater pearls and the combination of beads that you can put into this. Right, I'm just going to do one more row 
and then we'll do the clasp. But you can see how that's starting to form. Now you don't want any beads that are too bulky because bulk just doesn't sit right with this particular pattern. So you kind of want them anything from sort of two millimeter up to perhaps eight, I would say. A bit like with the necklace that we did. Now, when you finish, so if you imagine we've actually finished, although we haven't, leave about four or five inches again and just pull through your tail on your last stitch. So you can pull it to manipulate the shape and you can push your beads in a little bit as well. If there's any bits that are sticking out, perhaps not quite shaped how you want it, so you'd continue that way for the length of the bracelet. So here's one I prepared earlier. I've already attached one of the clasps. So I just simply line it up. Now I can take this side clasp off and show you this end. So with your tail, I mean some fine crocheters would possibly even use their crochet hook to link the um, clasp in, um, but I'm not a billy wizard enough to do that. Now I'm going to go through the end hole on that and then I'm going to come back through a stitch, go through twice, so push up through the hole all right so you just want to try and keep that central so then you would shimmy your wire a little bit further down for the middle loop I mean you can miss out the middle loop if you want to for today's session I'm going to miss out the middle loop and just stitch the end one for speed so it doesn't matter which way you go. All right, so I've just attached that. Take a nose dive down. And bring it back up. Now it's probably a good idea to actually trim it just as it appears out the hole and that way you've got no um, loose ends so you've got both ends of your clasp on there so you just hook that in so I think that's a really cute um, little clasp with regards to the slider clasp you use the same technique, the only difference is you work through the loop. So go through the loop and work down. And be very careful with the ends that you actually make sure the ends are at the top and not against the skin. Now, like I say, it is a rustic look thank you so much for joining me. As always, it's such a delight to have you all. Take care. Bye.